is going on, everybody? My name's Jacob Forster, and welcome to Franbo. I've been getting so many recommendations to go ahead and check out and play this game after we just finished Little Misfortune. I'm happy to continue on in the series, even though we're going backwards a little bit in uh, the releases of these games. This is a mature game, even though it looks puzzly and kind of cutesy. I think even more so than Little Misfortune. Um, so just be aware. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game other than the fact that it's very bizarre. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. <laughs> I see my parents. They look happy. So this is in the same universe as Little Misfortune, from what I hear. They have a present for me. I wonder. <gasps> it's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Oh, a little kitty. Dark as the deepest night, little black cat. <laughs> it's Mr. Midnight. That's a great name. My best friend. Oh, my only friend. No. Oh, we are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. Aunt or aunt? What do you say? I don't know what I say. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Just going out for a nice dinner. Night on the town. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Hmm. <laughs> Look at the cat. <laughs> We're having so much fun. <laughs> the cat's really cute. They put a butthole on it. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Real bad. Oh. Oh boy. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. But mom and dad are out. How can mom be screaming? A bright light shines from my parents' room. I like the music. I go closer. Hello, and closer. Mom? Dad? Oh, oh no. Please don't. Oh, oh my gosh. Mommy? Daddy? <laughs> uh, excuse you. They went out to dinner. What happened to their bodies? Whole house is bleeding. Mr. Midnight. What are we gonna do? Is Mr. Midnight hiding? <laughs> Cultists? <laughs> what is happening in this intro? Fran. Please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. Hmm. One. Two. Three. Ah, a therapy session. Okay, got it. Fran, how do you feel? Uh, I'm fine, I guess, or I feel like dying. <laughs> um, I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. Uh, I want to find the killer or I want to go home? I, I wonder if these choices matter. I'm going to say I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. Find my cat and the killer? Nobody does anything. Oh, she lost Mr. Midnight. I'll find the killer and my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now, I have something for you, Fran. <laughs> oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, it's a point and click. <laughs> got it. This was my mother's purse. Oh, got a little inventory. Open it. There's something inside. 
Uh, okay. Uh, examine? Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. Thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. I'm worried too, because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Hmm. What medicine? Or no more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine. It'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh, hello, nurse. How are you? Anything new today, Dr. Dern? 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 I don't know. <laughs> Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> yummy, yummy. I don't feel good. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh! <laughs> oh, no. Take her back to her room. And, nurse, don't let her take this ever again. <laughs> Some bad meds right there. That was awful. Poor Fran Bo. So, she's in this hospital. Her parents are missing or were killed? I'll, I'll wait. Beware, Fran Bo. If you leave the House of Madness, yes, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up, Mr. Midnight. The medicine will help you escape. Hmm. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Oh, Mr. Midnight. I love you. Oh, I love you too, Mr. Midnight. <laughs> we just want to be reunited with our cat and help find our parents' killers. Chapter one, my sober day. Okay, so we got a few chapters here in the game. I think I read that there's five chapters. So we'll try to do it one chapter at a time. Hello. Do I get up? Brain, I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Okay, well, let's get up from our bed. <laughs> what are these? Eyeballs? Oh, is that like the next room? I will get your nose. I will get it. <laughs> are you a happy clown? Oh, dang it. Locked. Good reason to get curious. I'm having a hard time laughing again. Well, I guess... I will get your nose, I'll get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? Case number, name Franbo Dagenhart, age 10, gender female, history. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy, details omitted. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. July 25th, 1944, wow. Psycho, what? I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Effects affecting one side of me, maybe? <laughs> oh dear, I really wonder who brought me here. Okay, so there's quite a few uh, different text things that pop up when you click on things. So I will do my best to kind of get multiple clicks. I should get the key for this. Still closed. <laughs> Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on over here. Oh dear, I miss you so much. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. And what do we have down here? Oh, sweet. Sweet melody. One more time. La la la. Does the same as before, huh? I don't want to. I just woke up. Unpleasant nightmares. No thanks. 
Okay, so let's go off to, or actually here. So lost and found is what the bag is. Let's go to the left room. My legs are just fine. Uh, I'm not disabled, my legs are just fine. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels? <laughs> I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. All right, let's go talk to here. Hello, friend. Good to see you are awake. Uh, how long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. <laughs> was it the medicine or should find Kitty? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. So we're not going to listen... Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know that the nurse always keeps the medicine, but where? Interesting. So we're trying to find the medicine that is causing us delusions. Oh, holy moly. Something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Okay. Got it. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Okay. Okay. Creepy. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. Or is it defense tower? Uh, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. Look at her bulging eyeball. <laughs> also, the eyeballs on this screen are just ridiculous. So what's up with this curtain here? I could still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Okay, sure. Let's go to the other side. Hello, little boy. Let's go down here. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. A little box. It's open. So let's go ahead and use it. A key. This will certainly open something. A tiny little key. Okay. I wonder if I use that for the thing I had to open earlier. I hope somebody loves you. Oh. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. <laughs> let's talk to the child. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. <laughs> They're just stupid. <laughs> they always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Uh, I'll try to find Kitty by. I will if you help me. Interesting. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. <laughs> Who? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Okay, <laughs> leave me alone, I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Creepy monster. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now, I'm on a very secret mission. Okay, what do we got here? Fillmore Bronstone, age eight male, history. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia, not yet diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Questioned. <laughs> Documented, April 6, 1944. Ooh, wooden Mr. Horse. Are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives, yeehaw! <laughs> Perfect. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. <laughs> okay, can I go in here? Of course it's locked. All right, let's go back over here. I can walk up to here. I'm curious how you use items. Use it, oh, there it is. Use tiny key with your. <gasps> Perfect, yes, yes, I got it. And there's something inside. Oh, ah, it's me, my parents, and my aunt. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. Okay, what else did we get? 
a little hair clip. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Okay. I'm assuming I'm going to use that on the door over here. We're going to pick this lock. Use hair clip with door. It fits. But there are two holes. I need something else. Ah. Ah. Okay. Um. Do I click this? Combine golden hook with hair clip. I'm not sure what to do with this. Yes. Use golden hook with. Wait, how do I? How do I? How do I actually do this? <laughs> Combine hair clip with golden hook. Ah, won't work. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. So if I use this, uh, the shape is not right. Oh, okay. So I do need something else then, right? I'm curious what else I would be using. I should give it a good use. Um, hmm. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. I wanna know what she's writing. Your wake, good. Yes. <laughs> now leave, I'm working. Uh, okay. I did something. Lady nurse, I did something. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? Uh, Broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft. Accidentally? I have to fix this. Follow me. Oh. Definitely not following her. Curious, but the nurse is still inside this room. Oh, she would just go crazy if I touch anything. Uh, okay, so I guess I go over here then? Hi, <laughs> something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? What's a hook? Um, what's a hook? <laughs> well, I have to go find something to fix this, you little girl. <laughs> All right, so long, Granny. There we go. Okay, now she's gone, and I should be able to look through this. Aha! I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is terrible! Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Oh, okay, put it back. Uh, Gladys, Fran Bow. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some girls have come around and something about her and when she would come out and play. What? Wait, what is this? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. H is eight. So there's a numerical cipher here. So... A through I is one through nine. Okay, straightforward. Okay. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficitis, or deficits. <laughs> I don't know why I read that the first way. Deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. We have the brain things here. Okay. Ooh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Ew. Ew. Okay, why is she saying ew? Can I close this? No. All right, well, let's take a look. Examine. Tiny patches cure wounds. My pills are inside, I know it. I have to crack the code. Hide. Oh, well I know the code. So hide, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, five, six, seven, eight. A, B, C, D, E, five, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, nine. Cool, the pills. Kitty told me these would help me. I'm not so sure about that, to be honest. Okay, so I just have pills in the bottom left corner now. Um, D 
do I just take them? Oh, I can look out the window. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. Pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Okay. Can I look out this window? I can't see through this window. All right. What about this one? Oh, this one's boarded up. Uh, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. <laughs> Watch your step. Uh, get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you all right? Hello? Huh? Excuse me, Lady Nurse. This may be very useful. Excuse me. Small and sharp. This might fit somewhere. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, can I combine it with this? Fantastic. My very own special key. Okay. So this is interesting because all of the this this alternate world, the pill world, actually manifests things for us to use. Got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mama, mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looks sad. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, nothing else here. Let's go to the other room. It was not me. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. Who did it? Where did the clown go? Oh, this is wild. Blood, find him. Got an angry face. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go down here. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Huh. Oh, what is going on? Is that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Where did this fox come from? Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? All right, let's go to this room. <laughs> to happiness. Hello. Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? You can see. <laughs> Hello? Oh no, your head! I'll try to put your head back on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. <laughs> What is happening? What is happening? Okay, let's go ahead and use this on the door. Yes, to happiness. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. <laughs> the maze. We never get to play there. Whoa, tonight the fog is pretty thick. Wish I could get lost in there. Okay. <laughs> You're my beloved friend! Bip, bip, burr. <laughs> if you want to hug me, try to catch me. Burr, bip. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Bip, bip. <laughs> okay, what is happening? Uh, can I go in here? The king likes drawings. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. How bizarre. What? This wasn't here before. Okay. Um, I don't think I've been in this room. No, no, that, yeah, that's when I came out of. So I haven't been to this room. <laughs> what is happening? 
<laughs> this game's wild so far. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Maybe if I touch it, it will jump and scare me a lot. Hmm. All right, nothing happened. It must be dead. Hello? Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. Even the purest of things dies in this place. Okay. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. <laughs> Where did the clown go? So if I click this, will it take me out of this dream world? Ah, okay, I understand, I understand. Hello? You see them, you too, right? <laughs> I don't, bye! <laughs> see what? Creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh, I can't see them, but I know they're here. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Uh, uh, yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. Oh, draw a cat if you don't have one. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's mine. My crayons. Uh, I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up. And when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. No! <laughs> that's terrible. Please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. Sure. <laughs> this bed is very pink. This is bizarre. Oh! Here you go. Band-Aids. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. <gasps> Green crayon. Let's go. I wonder what I'm supposed to use that on. My favorite green crayon. Uh, can I use you on the wall? No. Use it with the rocking chair. It can't be done! <laughs> snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. And your booty will be flat like your face. <laughs> snuggle, snuggle, the old lady's rhythm. What? Oh, uh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy and many other things. Ooh, real flowers. They smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Okay, uh, I don't think there's really anything else. Oh, this is one of those mute clowns. I've seen so many and they all look sad. This one is very happy though. Good for him. Strange. Oh, oh, okay, so we can go downstairs now. If I look out here, now we can see the maze a little bit better. The maze, we never get to play there. So that's all the same. Let's go into the west area. The throne is empty. Didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. Oh, oh yeah, I just realized that. I can and will hold it. That's pretty disgusting. They're watching all of these children use the bathroom. Absolutely sick. Huh, there you are. You should play in, you should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. Um, how did I get out then? It was open. Hmm. <laughs> Don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Dang it. Uh, okay. Uh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. So did I just fail that somehow? Or do I just need to go in there and have her not catch me? You see the lights flickering there? Yo, just grab... Granny's revolver. Oh, what's up, Doc? 
Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Sir, doctor, please just let me go out and eat something. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. You big people or lesson learnt? <sighs> you big people. <laughs> just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now, then back to bed. Hmm. So I have food somewhere? I don't see any food. I don't want to, I just woke up. Okay, so can I just leave then? Or is she gonna come out? Oh no, no, we got it. This gate is very locked. I guess I've never seen this gate unlocked. Not even when I first came here because I don't remember that. Oh, my, my lock pick is just gone. Interesting. That sign shows where things are in the hospital. Oh, but what it doesn't show is how awful this place is. It should say, welcome to the most terrible place in the world. The yellow door, that is my way out. I have to open it, but how? Phil said that the doctor's office is the key. Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. Interesting. Okay. The reception room. You always find a nurse in there. I could smile and bow and tell the nurse to open the gate. But then again, they'd really think I'm insane. <laughs> Wonder what that blinking light is for. It's very hypnotic. Wish I could shut it down. Okay. So what do I do to get through here? Oh! Hey, get your hands off the office door! Sorry. Oswald Asylum, child psychiatry chief, Dr. Marcel Dearn. Patients, got all these people. Fran Bo visits today for Lisbeth, Jason, and Fillmore. Well, sir, can I talk to you? Who are you? <laughs> sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key. If you give me a kiss. You should kiss your butt. <laughs> Weirdo. If I call emergency, I don't think they would help me. This table isn't interesting at all. I don't even want to be near this guard. <laughs> That's the office key. It must be. But what can I do to reach it? Hmm. Hey, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, I think. <laughs> so you're able to think. You should think about getting the hell out of here. <laughs> I go wherever I want. Go where? To your mommy and daddy? Get lost. I don't like this guy. He's kind of terrible. <laughs> Hello? Who are you? Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. <laughs> he ate your brains? He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. <laughs> I don't like all these clown pictures. What is this kid doing? And who is this? Isabel. She won't wake up. I guess this means she is heavily sedated. Would you like to help me escape? With your big muscles and hairy arms? You can break through every wall. Good night, shiny toys. Have you seen my kitty? He's the most funny and clever guy. You would like him. This pink elephant. Elephant, sir, you are very pink and soft. You look like you have been training at the circus. And your tummy is filled with love. Clowns on the walls in the house of madness. You are way better inside that frame than down here, sir. What about this one? Your tiny hat is very sweet. The smile on your face is quite scary. Did you say something? Uh, creepy. Creepy. <laughs> the action men. Could either of you help me find my kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war <laughs> and the cowboy ate the princess. A little paper boat, take me to the sea and beyond. 
wonder if this paper boat can sail. Because if it sinks, I could drown because I can't swim. Hey, buddy. Hello, what are you doing? He's got scars on the top of his head. It doesn't work. The paper's not working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. But what is it the paper has to do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see. But why is it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Uh, I can try. <laughs> Kill Monday. Games. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw something in the static. Human testing approved. Breaking news. Oh, a documentary. Maybe I guess it's about pine cones and ants. Oh, I didn't realize we could click on it. Oh, this is probably the one I need. No signal. No program or anything other than these hypnotic colors. The super hyper happy cupcake dance. News. Human testing approved. That's no news, Mr. Announcer. And then the documentary. Okay, so we're going to leave it on that one. It works, it works, a miracle, thank you. Paper vision positive. <laughs> Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Uh, I suppose I can use it. Oh, thank you. Suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy, paper vision revision in action. <laughs> okay, so do I take the paper? Aha, well now I can write or draw when I'm bored. Let's examine it real quick. Paper, indeed, it's very white. So let's use crayon, no, no, no. Let's combine the green crayon with the paper. Uh, I don't know what to draw right now, got it. Still need to figure out what to do with the golden hook. I'm assuming I can attach it to something and that's how I get the key, maybe? <clears throat> I can't forget to use the pills here shortly in this second floor, because I haven't seen anything here. Hi. The grandfather clock is big and grand. Tick tock, tick tock. It will never stop. Well, that's not true. Surely it will stop sometime. What have we here? Chocolate, mmm, yummy. I don't like bitter coffee. The menu of the day, mmm, pasta. Signal's weird. Must be because we're so far away from everything. I don't really understand what they say. Mommy loved to paint roses. Okay. Oh, I can't click on Teddy? Oh no, there we go. The sofa, made to be sat on. I can't sit, the sofa is taken. This smells like poo, oh gross. <laughs> I don't like this painting. Feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. I guess Mr. Oswald is very old, old enough to be dead. Okay, and what do we have in here? Mr. Midnight, are you here? I suppose not. Oh dear, what should I do to find my kitty? Let's check out the food before I talk to people. What if that pasta was cooked today? Not by the look of it. Salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk, I guess this carton is all sour like always. A little lemonade. Not that thirsty. I miss Mr. Midnight. That's the only thing I know. Oh, mmm, I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. Tasty cinnamon bun, okay. So I got a lot of cool items so far. Let's talk to the nurse. Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? I see dead animals. <laughs> you mean in the television? Of course, the television. <laughs> Very well, Fran. Go play with your friends now. I probably need to uh, keep that conversation going. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Could you please kill me? Please? Uh, what? <laughs> sure, bang, you're dead. Thank you, I can't talk now, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you want a cinnamon bun? Mm, even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. <laughs> okay. 
Here, I want to talk to her again, kind of give her some more of my delusions. Fran, I told you, go mind your own business. I'm very busy. Okay. Well, time to take my pills. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, the lady nurse died. That's not good. I wonder who did this. It wasn't me. She smells real bad. Feels like the smell is all over me. The grandfather clock is big and grand. Okay, but it did stop that time. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone feels ashamed of you. <laughs> Interesting. Is there anything else? No, okay. Oh, I can't sit the sofa's taken. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, there's a whole nother room to the left. I didn't even realize that. You know, let, let me go in the <laughs> let me go in the other rooms first. Yes, please go through. Thank you. Oh, hi. Oh, Teddy. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. Teddy, what are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello for me when you get there. <laughs> Poor Teddy. I'm assuming this will just say it's locked. Feels like a chilly breeze of sadness coming through this fence. Quite the interesting uh, note for that one. Oh boy. Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. It says that you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not because it may happen even if you don't like it. Hide your pain. Oh! When did his head explode? <laughs> oh no, they did it all wrong. They cut your head into little pieces. Please take me out of here. Please take me out of here. Look at me. I say I care while you're dying of hunger and thirst. Look at me. I say you're beautiful while I give you poison to eat. Look at me. I say I love you while I'm teaching you to hate yourself. Is that a skull in the, sh in the... Yeah, it's a, it's a bleeding skull. Where did the clown go? Where did the clown go? Oh wait, hold on. I just noticed a bathrobe. I don't think I checked that yet. Oh, the pink sash is mine now. Let's examine. Sash from the robe, good to tie things together. So let's combine that with this. Yeah, now I can use the rope to tie the hook with something. I'm glad I came back in here and noticed that. Okay, let's go back to this guy. Reach the key. I wonder what part of the body that is. Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly with. No flying. Mr. Pig here for me to see. You a crunchy pig's head, ready to be served. Wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid of it. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's go over to this room. Figure out what's going on. What's going on? Oh, this clock sounds odd. Feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm, I can't understand what it says. Hello up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had very pretty dress too. A bleeding clock. It's like time is broken and stopped. I find clocks to be a bit depressing. Oh, that clock's eye looks like Mr. Midnight's. Maybe it's because time is running out for him. Oh, my dear kitty, I have to find you. Okay, I'm gonna... Here we go. I can't just throw it. I can harm my eyes if I miss. Oh, okay. Darn, I was hoping that would that would work. I'm not gonna give this guy his satisfaction of a kiss. What a creep. What a freak. Where'd you come from? Hey, Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magical tricks and make you sleepy. Magical tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you? But it's very scary. It's better if you uh, if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. 
<laughs> really? Woo! <laughs> yes, the magical stuff that will make anyone fall asleep. Oh, that's amazing, powerful, and grand. Here, as a gift, take it slowly. Ah, okay. So I'm going to use that on the guard then, probably. All right, how does it work? I have no idea. <laughs> well, see you later. So what's going on in here then? Birdie bird, I like you. Wish you could take me out of here. Can you? Fly away. What are you waiting for? I don't want this. I'm not hungry. Guess if Damien eats the pasta, it can't be that bad. All right, let's talk to Damien. Little bull cut boy. <laughs> don't disturb me, go away, I'm eating. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. <laughs> don't touch my sword. <laughs> I didn't know it was yours. <laughs> you should bow and speak clearly to me. Oh, bow. I'm your king. Uh, what? You're not the king. I'm only the king of the whole universe. Bow to me. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? Uh, I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Uh, yes, your highness, your sword. <laughs> what would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. So maybe I can use, sorry. I can combine with this. Yeah, I'll draw something special for the king. And then we can use this with you. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's all yours. Sick. The royal walking cane from the king. The magical stuff to make anyone fall asleep. And... I combine it with this. Ah, now I can reach high. I'll call this the Grabomatic 2000. Perfect. Uh, okay, cool. So what's going on down here? Annie loves to drink the milk like a kitten. Sadly, she's not my cat. I'm gonna miss her. I guess she won't remember me. The door is always locked tonight. I can't go out and play. I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow, but that's absurd. I have to find my kitty. Ah, the playground. Pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Okay, so we've seen that text before. Same thing right there. Let's go to pill mode. <laughs> they are dead. It's alive. If Kitten were here, he would probably attack it. Hope it doesn't start following me. Oh, look at his face. That holy man took all your clothes off. Oh, how pretty all these roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you? Please tell me if you can hear me. Why do you have this creature next to you? He's staring at you. Maybe he wants to eat you. Okay, it's nothing else here. Something attacked the bird picture? All right. <laughs> well, I've got the cane. I've got the sleeping pills. Oh, poor Teddy, poor Teddy. This is so weird. Okay, get out of the pill zone. Um, use magic stuff with the guard. This is serious, I shouldn't show these to anyone. Oh, okay, fair enough. So let's go ahead and use our grabber. Oh! Hey, 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 give me that. You can't take that key. <laughs> no! <laughs> but I worked hard on it, it's my Grabomatic. Give it back. Shut up. You don't make the rules, I do. This toy of yours will be with me from now on. <laughs> I will get it back, I will. Do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. Combine with this. Ah, magical cake, a sleepy, sleepy cake. There we go. Use drugged cinnamon bun with the guard. Here we go. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Please take it. It will make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. So you don't want it? No. Now leave me alone. 
Oh, interesting. So who do I give it to? Do I give it to you? Victoria? Clever enough to find another solution, I think. I don't know why, but maybe I could give it to him. Better save this for someone who needs to sleep. Yeah, we need to give it to the guard, but I'm not too sure. Maybe it's the nurse over here? Oh, hi. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he will catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, would you do me a favor? Sure. Anything but bring me bring the coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. Ah, okay. So I'm going to put the little coffee cake here. No, it won't do. Fran, what is it now? <laughs> Can I borrow your magazine or nothing? Can I borrow your magazine? <laughs> no. All right, fine. So maybe I put this right here? Negative. A little lemonade. This won't work, huh? Um, where's the coffee? So she needs to take coffee somewhere for the guard. My grabomatic. Give it back. I wonder if it's upstairs then. Hmm. Hello. I don't see anything in there. Hello. How y'all doing? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, get back here. Get back here. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? I guess I'll follow her. See what's up. No, now leave me alone. Oh, with the guard table? I can't do that. Yo, where are you going? <laughs> Why are you just roaming around here? Are you gonna leave? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> She's all over the place. Okay, let's talk to her again. Look, young lady, I'm here all day listening to everyone's problems. It's late now and I'm very tired. Just leave. I'm sorry, miss. What's your name? My name is Blanca. Now please go away. Do you want this? Better save this for someone who needs to sleep. Use with smelly food, with cinnamon buns. So I can't put it with the other cinnamon buns? Ah, things not working makes me angry. <laughs> Coffee table. Not sure what to do with this. Oh goodness, sorry, lovely fingers. This is hot coffee. Oh. Oh, oh, I just took the coffee. Please, Fran, just go away. Um, ah, it won't work. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? So do I just give him the coffee then? And then he's like, oh boy, I could really use a tasty treat with this. <laughs> Here's your hot, hot, hot coffee, sir. <laughs> Just spill it all over him. Look what you did, you insane orphan. You did that on purpose. Don't have to go and change. Ugh, it's burning like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little crap. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna yoink this here. Come back to your great creator. 
He's on the key. I uh, got you. Now I can unlock the office. The key to the office. Call emergency. Yeah, yeah. Doctor's office. The code must be in here. So let's go ahead and use this on door number 12. Let's go inside. <gasps> Doctor's office. Cool. Mental health global week. Wonder what people do at those gatherings. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. Something new testing drug. Testing day. Every day is testing day. October, November. I guess we're in October now. What a tiny text. Thoughts of Marcel Dearn. Um, you're not alone. Join us today. Oswald Asylum. An interview with Dr. Dearn about working with children. <gasps> ah, the code and some important information. Finally. Well, I've seen this before. What does it mean? I don't really know what this is. Cool air comes out of it, like the wind. I guess behind this, there's a hole. A wind hole. <laughs> I hate this bed. I'm not laying down here. I've cried so many times here. Oh. Oh, I love to open mail, but this is not for me. <laughs> the books are all the same. Wonder whose head that is. Got a typewriter here. The yellow typewriter. I could write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, take me out of here, please. <laughs> no pictures or funny riddles. Mr. Midnight could tell me a riddle. He loves them. This book is not interesting. Uh, the doctor ate an apple. I could use this as a helmet to prevent injuries when I faint. But I guess my hair does a good job too. Ooh, key. It's always good to carry an extra key. An extra key, I got it from the office. Nice. Wish this key holder had all the keys. Need to open the gate in front of the yellow door. The brain is so complicated. I don't even understand all my thoughts. I guess nobody does completely. Vision, taste, and hearing? I learned some of this at school. I don't remember it all. Doctor used to sit here and do nothing. The doctor... Yeah, yeah, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Oh! Phil? Forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, excuse me? Also, I need to examine this. Dr. Marcel. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The all door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm activates. Sorry, reactivates. Alarm code December 17th equals and July 25th equals December and July. There's no December or July here. Um, can I use this here? This key doesn't work here. Uh, oh, oh, let me go to pill mode. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's me. Hello. Ah. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't feel. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Well, I'm sedated and I see weird stuff, but I'm not dead. I can breathe and talk and all things a living person does. All right, well, let's go through here. Go into the little tunnel system. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Probably not. Probably not. Oh. The rat really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. <laughs> Poor little rat. What is happening? I'll just keep going and going. Sure. We're going to fall down here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Crap, we're in the basement now. Oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. Come on, Fran. Interesting. A mop that will dance on the floor. Mr. Midnight hates mops. He always tried to kill them with his furious paws. Okay. Got a lot of stuff here. Huh. Cleaning products, they should clean our toilets. Sponges and washcloths and thousands of chemicals. I don't think I need any of these. No water to wash my hands. Okay, uh, can I click on you? Okay, same thing. Oh, the box is open, let me see. More pills. I could take it and taste it, but I don't want to. Besides, it's not good to eat things that can be bad because they are bad. 
So why take it? Quite the logic there. The gloves tell me nothing. All nurses wear gloves. Scrapped or scraped label. Hmm. That bottle's empty. I guess they will put some pills in it. Huh, bad pills. I just take them to find my kitty. Yellow pills, huh? They, t they look more fun than red ones. The bottle's empty. Guess we'll put some pills in it. Weird. Okay, so there's nothing to do with that box? At least not right now. There's nothing under the blanket. Old and rusty. Guess I have a place to sleep if I don't find the way out. Oh, if I were a witch, I could fly away from here. I'd fly with my kitty while the night is filled with shining stars. And we would visit curious places because we both like curious things. Okay, pill time. Oh, excuse me. You really lose your head in this place. Hopefully I can escape before I lose mine. Uh, lies in a box. Okay, so let's check the box now. Guns tell me nothing. Scrap. Oh, I didn't even check this. The patient. 256 blah, 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 is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered gland. Ectoplomatin, dose up to 1700 MCG. Change the container so it looks like an approved variant of Duotine. What child? Who wrote this? I wonder what this means. I really won't miss the hospital a bit. Huh. Yeah, so they're changing the pills. It's locked. Well, time to take some pills. Ah, nothing different. Okay, will this work? Ah! Oh! If you struggle, you will know what I... What that is... That! Was I? I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Okay. Oh, we're passing out. Ah, okay, so that's probably the first chapter, I'm guessing. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll soon be together again, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Kitty, don't go. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Going into the maze. Ah. <laughs> Meow. At the end of the maze, Fran. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> okay. Wake up, Fran. Wake up. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Was that the end of a chapter? No, no, no. Um, I, I'm scared that if I, there's no like save system that I can see. So I'm afraid that if I <laughs> like exit the game, it, I'm gonna lose all of my progress. Operating room patient, Robert Clark, psychosurgery procedure, lobotomy, Dr. Roman Bates, observation, failed anesthetic. Patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. The procedure was canceled and incompleted. Creepy. Oh, the operating room. I don't want to go inside. It smells like rotten flesh. Ugh, I don't want them to play with my head in there. Okay, seems like there's only the window that we can click on. Uh, let's check the pills here. <laughs> oh my goodness! What is that? Who is that? Sir, wake up! <laughs> what is that, man? <laughs> my path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for a mother to love me. You can't blame those who are ignorant, but you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you even through pain and tears. I hate it. I hate it. Go away. Oh. Oh. Oh no, poor girls. I hope they get well soon. Hope I never end up like this. I won't if I leave this sick place and find Mr. Midnight. Hello, are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. Hope you get well soon. <laughs> so oblivious. Let's see what this one says. Oh, so I did go all the way around. I'm just under the kitchen now, but I can't go upstairs. It's locked, but I can go up this staircase. Uh, let me do the pills again. Yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh. It ward? It says it ward. I don't know what that means. 
I don't know what that means either. Oh, oh boy. Why do you have your brain out? Is it too warm in there? Mm, he won't answer. I guess the mice will come and have some meat. Excuse you. Let's close this up. Let's go upstairs. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Fran Bell? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. In the doctor's office? He used to have the key there. Calm down, the key's not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Well then, baby shaken syndrome. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm at the reception already. This is grand. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. <gasps> what should I do? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Oh, that's the same thing. No, um... Use drug drugged cinnamon bun with the nurse? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Trying out things is good, but in this case, it won't do any good. Uh, okay. I'm at the reception already. This is grand, but the nurse, I have to get rid of her. So we can't do anything right now. Um... Miss Nurse, I hope you want to go to the toilet soon. Weird. Oh, the note I have said something about this. The key holder has no keys to hold. Hmm. What should I do? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Take the pills. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Oh, you are all skinny. Yeah. Why are you hanging up there? Are you a nurse too? Oh my goodness, are you okay, little baby? Is that your mommy hanging up there? Do you miss her? I miss my mommy too. That is exactly what Mr. Midnight told me. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Whatever it is, I hope I can find my kitty. Can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, a love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. Okay. So what is happening here? And there you go. Hope the nurse sees the key. Okay, so that worked pretty well. Hmm, I don't want to be here anymore. Wasting time on the sofa thinking while my poor little cat is freezing outside. Oh. Okay, so if I go here... Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Uh, Franbo, where are you going to go, though? Oh, we're just going to chill here? Okay. Uh, all right. Please enter four digits password. So they're letter coded. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel reception. The yell door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code, December 17th and July 25th. I don't understand. 1725? I'm missing something. Huh, so the, they're letter coded, so that might have to, something to do with it. Hi, nurse. <laughs> Bye, nurse. Oh, didn't mean to go in there. I can't open the door, it's locked. So I need to find a calendar? From what it seems? Can't be done. Also, who do I need to put to sleep? <laughs> that is the other great mystery that we've got. Oh, wait a second. No, okay. December 17th equals July 25th equals. I don't understand. There's no reference in here. So th the main problem at the moment is... No water, wash my hands.
Yeah, so our current problem <clears throat> is that we have nothing to reference the code with. Oh, maybe. I need to go in here and then use the pills. Can't open it. Maybe the paper I found in the office can open it. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, this isn't giving me much. Um... I guess I can search the cabinets. Many folders and books. They must have a record of every kid. Sure say that. Everyone is insane. Old coffee. No crackers. I want to go home. Hmm. I don't want to be here anymore. So what am I? What am I actually missing on this? Oh! 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 <laughs> December seventeen is twelve one seven. And this is 0725? Let me, let me try 1217. Missing something. Okay. Unless I just use? Hmm, even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. Okay. Um, 0725? There's no zero. 725? Missing something. What? I... I'm not sure I understand the context clue here. This code is very important. This code is very important. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel and reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. Scribbled out. December 17th equals something. July 25th equals something. I don't... See, this is the problem. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Uh, unless I'm supposed to take the pills and then examine it? But I got nothing. Um, I, I know it's like... It's got to be something way easier than I'm thinking of. Lies in a box. Patient number has nothing to do with all this. No water wash my hands. Gross little bug. There's nothing under the blankets. And there's no calendars to look at anywhere. Uh... <laughs> um... 2517? 2517? The problem is, it's it's a four-digit code. 1725 and 2517 do not work. So we need to figure out what this scribble means. And again, I, I can't go back to like the doctor's office to try to figure this out. Um, and the only other thing I can think of is maybe the day of the week based on a recent calendar is the code. So it would be like Monday and Wednesday and like M-O and W-E is the code. <laughs> this is how deep I'm trying to figure out. Uh, but for the year, I don't think I have that reference on me to even know what day of the year these would be in the 40s, I think it said. Um, and this looks like a number four, like might be hidden under this scratch. Hmm. Yeah, give me, give me a minute. I gotta figure this out. 29, 32. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm the best, the very best. <laughs> it was December 
plus d the month of December was 12 plus the number that was connected to it and July was seven plus the number that took me a long time that took me way longer okay so now we can just leave right oh my gosh get me out of here oh uh, I thought I turned off the alarm thank you very much <laughs> you little I'll make you pay for what you did You clever, clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? <laughs> what? It can't be. No. I'm sorry. What just happened? <laughs> it's our cat. <laughs> Mr. Midnight. You're just a little toy now. I need to get to the maze. Sure. Oh, the tower. Hmm. I've never seen this fence before. I have to find the maze. I can't wait here for my kitty. Okay, well, I guess into the maze we go. <laughs> ah, he is still alive. Interesting. This, this is what I'm very... Like curious about it's like what is gonna become a delusion and what's gonna be a real life in this game. Oh, I'm actually controlling this right now. Crap. Um I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Where did the kitty go? Oh guess I can go that way. I can hear it. <laughs> this is an interesting little section. It's kind of cool. Oh, what is that? What? Are... Oh, oh, it's a shadow person. Okay, I'm assuming I don't touch you, or I can't touch you. Oh, get out of there! Weird little shadow thing. This is probably the wrong way. Oh, I hear kitty. This is interesting. Oh, you can totally just cheat. <laughs> if you click the place that you want to go, that's like way outside of the, the path. You can actually get to where it is. But, this is a false way. So, if I click up here, she should walk all the way around. Okay. This is great. This game is very bizarre and dark and weird, but I, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, Ciao, Mr. Shadow Man. Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Two unlocked. I found my way out. At the end of the maze, you will find... Yes. The evil critters of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. Huh. But there will be always a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. <gasps> no, our picture. Oh no, we lost it on the way. Oh, such a bummer. Oh, there we go. Chapter two, part one, curiosity symptoms. Very cool. All right. So I'm going to leave the episode here, but let me get through whatever's going to happen here. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Yeah, I hope so as well. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Oh, this is great. 
This is this is wonderful. Okay, so yeah, we're on to chapter two. Uh, this is a very long first episode, very long first chapter. So each chapter, I, I read that there were five chapters. I didn't know that there were parts of the chapter. So depending on how long part one of chapter two is, and if there's more parts for each one, I might have these be a little bit smaller episodes. Um, if part one is like 10 minutes, I'll just record all of chapter two. Um, but I'll, I'll have to look into that as well to see how many parts there are. And I want to be able to space out these videos so that way they have a good chunk to be able to watch them. Let me know though. Uh, I'd love any feedback on that. If you want to see these as just chapter by chapter, if you want it in a little bit of smaller episodes, like under an hour, uh, I'd love to hear any of that. But can't wait to play some more of this, get through some of these puzzles, and get through this bizarre, bizarre world. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below, love to hear any thoughts and feelings from y'all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification, that way you know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials, like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.